Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode. Now, this one is going to be a, a discussion video because there are some things I really want to talk about regarding FIFA 19 and Career Mode in general. So I thought there's no better way to do that than to record the gameplay and talk over the top so you guys can see the highlights of a couple of Champions League games and also some Premier League games using a lot of the squad, rotating players in and out. So enjoy the gameplay. And you're going to notice, you know, I've called I've called FIFA 19 kind of like the bipolar FIFA. One game it's crazy, one game it's really easy. And when I say crazy, I mean difficult. Um, and you'll see good examples of that in this video, and I'll be talking about it. So um, please let me know in the comments below if you agree with things I say, and also if you've seen certain issues with the game that I'm going to be talking about. And like I said, just enjoy the gameplay. We get some absolute bangers in this game. We... Are absolutely destroying Shakhtar just 16 minutes in 2 0. And uh, you'll see later on in this episode that the opposite happens. So, what do I what do I mean by there's issues in this game? So, what I've noticed is out of the last, I'd say, five or six years, the game has been more and more buggy at the start of its life cycle. It feels like every year the new FIFA has come out, it's had more and more issues. Sometimes different issues. And by the way, I got very lucky here. This was actually going wide, but the keeper puts it in. It was known goal. I feel like this year, it's the worst it's been. There's so many little bugs and problems, and they're game-breaking bugs. I just... I, I don't... I don't know why. You know, we've had a beta. We've had a demo with the beta, which I had access to for over a week. I put down so many things into a list and sent it off to EA. And, you know, I'm in the Game Changers program, so I was able to give them some feedback. They said they would adjust things. And to be fair, they have adjusted some things. But um, there are still some really, really bad issues with this game that are just driving me mad. And already we're, what, halfway into October. The game's only been out for, you know, just over a month, you know, six weeks or so. And I'm already extremely frustrated and burned out playing it. And I'm sure I'm not the only YouTuber and the only person feeling like that in general. So the biggest bug, biggest bug and biggest issue for me right now, and just the most annoying thing, is the passing in this game. Now one thing you can do to take a look at the issue and actually see it happening in front of you is to watch your replays and push in the right stick on your controller. That brings up the arrow, so it shows you where you are aiming for passes, for shooting, for things like that. You actually get to see where you, where your input was aiming and where it actually aimed for you. What I've noticed is, it's not all the time, but when a pass goes astray, normally you'd go, well, I just missed. That was my fault. But there are so many examples already in this career mode, which you've seen. I've brought up the replay while recording live commentary where I feel like I've passed it perfectly. It's going to the place I want it to go. I check the replay. The arrow is right where I wanted it to go, and the ball just goes the complete opposite direction, or, you know, just away from where you wanted it to. And that, that must be a bug. There can't be that much high percentage of an error applied to passing. Otherwise, that just needs tweaking. And I really hope it is that, because there is error in this game. Your players are not robots. You know, they're not 99 rated. If you're passing it around with, say, Iwobi, I'm on the ball here. Sometimes, even if I pass accurately, the game will make the pass miss. And what a goal this is by Nelson, by the way. Whew, beautiful finish. So I get that. Sometimes an error is okay. I get it. It's a game. It, it can't be perfect. And I accept that, but it happens way too often. And it's the same with the shooting. I'm not the only person that's brought this up. A lot of Ultimate Team specific YouTubers have been talking about it as well. I think Matt HD Gamer did a really good video showing lots of examples of the, especially with the new um, timed finishing mechanic, which is great by the way. I, I'm, I'm, a I'm a big fan of anything that increases the skill gap online in this game. It's been needed for a long time, but it has brought its own issues. Some people are literally aiming perfectly in the corner getting their timed finish perfectly in the green, and then the, the, the shot goes miles wide or over the bar, which isn't fair. You know, if you're going to introduce something like timed finishing, if you master it, your shots should be mastered, right? That's just the way it is, and that's how a skill gap works. So whilst it's great that it's in the game, it's causing issues. So that's, that's shooting and passing. 
definitely need to be adjusted. I've reached out to EA and I know a lot of the other game chamber game, game chambers game changers have also reached out and there was a patch today that I downloaded and actually downloaded before I recorded this gameplay which didn't have any changes to those mechanics. There's no changes to passing or shooting yet and that patch will hit consoles next week I believe. So um, maybe the next patch will see some changes there but it's it's such a big issue it's making the game very frustrating to play but it's not the only thing that I wanted to talk about. The other thing is the game speed and the difficulty, the, the ultimate difficulty which by the way for me is one of my favourite new additions to a FIFA game in so so long. We've needed it for a long time. Legendary was never really hard enough. You had to use sliders to make it even harder, you know, putting your shot error to, to 90 or something crazy like that just so you wouldn't score 10 goals against Legendary. And it's it's nice. I love the fact that Ultimate is in the game and that it actually is very difficult. Even some of the best YouTubers out there, which I'm definitely not one of the best uh, FIFA players around. There are other career mode YouTubers that are definitely better at the game than me who are still struggling. That's perfect. That's the way it should be. So why is it so bipolar? Why is it so up and down? Some games, like you would have seen in this career mode, I'm absolutely demolishing teams in Ultimate to the point where I'm having to say, guys, I'm not sure how I've scored this goal. I'm not sure why the defense has let me through so easily. I'm on Ultimate. I'm not using any sliders, except from passing speed, of course, which I have down to 45. But then suddenly I'm in a game where I get absolutely demolished myself, where I can't do anything. Literally, I can't even get the ball off them. And it, it doesn't seem to be consistent. I can't work out what it is. Is it a certain formation that I'm playing against? Is it because I'm playing against Bayern Munich, for example, and then against Lincoln, and I'm having the game against Lincoln be very easy and the Bayern game very hard? Because that would obviously make sense. They're a different league apart from each other in terms of quality, right? But it isn't the case. It is quite literally a mystery. When you start a game, you kick off the game, you have no idea what kind of CPU form you're going to be coming up against. You'll see it in this game against Shakhtar Donetsk. Now, I'm sorry to ruin this actual match here for you, but I get absolutely smashed. To the point where halfway through this match, I wanted to just back out. I wanted to forfeit the game. That never, ever, ever happens to me, and that's what made me want to talk about it in this video. Instead of doing just a normal over, over the uh, over the gameplay voice over, you know, showing you what's going on and talking about it, I had to discuss this because I can't be the only one having this issue where one game is easy and then one game is absolutely impossible to win. And I, I'm telling you, like, I've practiced FIFA 19 off camera quite a lot recently. I've seen people in the in the comments saying, "Matt, your 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 finishing is bad." People leaving time codes in the comments saying, "Look, press here. You can see your Bamyang is wide open. Why didn't you pass to him?" And I see it and go, "Oh my god, yeah. Why didn't I pass it to Bamyang? Why am I trying to pass it around the box so much?" It's when I'm doing live commentary. I'm not really thinking about the gameplay as much as I should be. So I've been doing. I did a Roma career mode. I did a Monaco career mode. Um, I even played around with Real Madrid. I thought I'd give that a go, you know, seeing if I could just completely overhaul the defense of the CPU and see if that made a difference. But nothing seemed to work. There are just games which I cannot win. Even if I'm playing to the best of my ability, I will lose 2 or 3 nil, And I'm okay with that as long as it's a pattern, as long as I can see what I'm doing wrong. But honestly, in this game against Shakhtar, I wasn't even playing that badly. There are moments like you're going to see here, I'm including some highlights where I'm trying to break through, but my players just let me down. Look how slow Visor is to get to the ball there. And their centre-back, which has, what, 40 pace, is quicker than Visor to the ball. There's things where touches just go so wrong, heavy touches, and I'm talking like bronze player touches, League 2 touches, even though I'm playing as Arsenal with some of the best players in the game. There's, there's issues with my defenders just being out of position. I mean, just, just look at this goal, for example. Like, what, what even happened there? We're 3-0 down to Shakhtar. And I really wasn't playing that badly. There's plenty of issues when it comes to defending yourself. But also, there's defending, for, uh, defending by the AI. You know, when you're playing against them, sometimes they leave gaps so big that you can just pass through and score. You've seen it in this career mode. I've scored goals and like I said before, I've had to explain that I'm confused and speechless as to why I'm able to do that. 
But then there's games like this one against Wolves, which again, I'm sorry to spoil it, but it's the same as the Shakhtar game. Couldn't do anything. The defence was so solid, it was like playing on another difficulty after Ultimate. It was like they were all 99 rated. And just look at this. It's still an issue in FIFA. It's, it's impossible to understand how a game can come out every single year with the same issues with the goalkeepers. Look at this. You're telling me that that's not broken? I get it. Games are buggy. They have issues. But how many times have you seen a goal like that in the last 10 years? It happened in FIFA 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It's going to happen in FIFA 19. And look, it has. It's going to happen in FIFA 20. Goalkeepers never seem to be balanced in this game. And Leno is 86 rated. And we're 2-0 down against Wolves. Just unbelievable, really. And I was sitting here thinking, well, okay, maybe I am playing really bad at the moment. So what, what I'll do is when I edit this footage, I will look back. And I look back at some of the, the moments here where I'm trying to defend against it. But there's not really much I could do. They just outplayed me. So then I think, well, maybe I could have been better on the attack. And I look through some of the clips as well. My players don't make any runs. My players don't help me whatsoever. I'll be running forward and they just stand there watching. So there are some things that need adjusting in a future patch. And one of the biggest things for me, other than the passing and the shooting, has to be the AI behaviour. Not only on your team, but on the other team as well. When the AI defend, sometimes they're way too tight. They're way too good at tackling and blocking the ball. And then sometimes they're absolutely useless at it. But most importantly, this has to change. The amount of runs my teammates make, the way that they, they move into space, it's got to be better. There's just sometimes these games, like this one against Wolves, like the one against Shakhtar, where I feel like no matter what I did, I would, I would just not be able to win this game. Now, I don't want this video to come across as me being salty and just angry at the game. I guess that is kind of it. I am... A, I'm, I'm, well, I'm not even a little bit. I'm very frustrated with FIFA 19 right now because... I do like the core gameplay. It's a very smooth game. It runs like a dream on PC. It feels like they're finally supporting PC properly, which is a great thing. Those who have played PC FIFA for a long time know that it's lagged behind in terms of support and updates. You know, they never include the new boots, for example. I mean, how difficult can that be? So it's good to see that that's, that's better. But there are some core issues that need adjusting massively soon. I really hope this new patch, not today's one, Maybe in two or three weeks, we'll see a patch that really tries to fix some of these issues. But anyway, um, we've got some injury news. Players back from injury, which is really good. You would have noticed throughout this gameplay here that I've had to play Maitland-Niles at right back, for example. I've had so many injuries to my defenders. But somehow, even after that loss against Wolves, which was 3-1 in the end, we are still top of the league. So it's clearly not affecting me too much, but it's definitely affecting my mood. You know, I'm not enjoying playing it so much as I should be. And here's the Champions League group where I'm really struggling. One win, one draw, two losses. We've conceded more than we've scored. We have to win our next two games against Dortmund and Basel if we want to progress. I mean, we might get lucky if we can beat Basel and Shakhtar get beaten by Dortmund. We will go through, but it's going to be tough. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you leave your comments below. Tell me if you agree with anything I've said or tell me if I'm an idiot and I'm wrong. And I will see you in the next video very soon.